Hi everyone. In this session, we will learn how we can create a meeting using the Zoom REST API. In the last session, we will we have already learned that how we can get the list of meetings, okay, using the Zoom REST API, and we have also applied the filter, okay. So on on that meetings helper, I have just changed these two lines, okay, because of I have tested and I found some errors. So you, if you are going with that, then you can also change this, okay? Okay. So in this session, we will just implement this post API slash Zoom meeting endpoint, and uh, we will post to this endpoint with some payload, and we just see that how we are going to create the meeting using the Zoom REST API, okay? So inside the Zoom helper, we first must be create zoom meeting payload okay and sync and we just let meeting uri and we just copy that uri from here and paste that here okay and we just implement the xs data and wait xs and we configure that url meeting url okay method will be post okay and then data payload and headers Okay, headers will be authorization. Where and we just set the environment variable. Okay, I think, and then response will be response and page error. Error okay, and we just return data. Format the code. And we just export this meeting. Okay. And inside the index, we just import the meeting. And we call it here. Wait meeting, wait meeting, just our body. Can we say it right here? Result response, response not JSON, and we set result. Submit, save, and we just again okay, start. Okay, so basically it is showing that meeting is already there. Here yeah, you can start. Okay, and we only open the postman. Before that, we must be authorized. Okay, localhost code 4000 slash APS is the authorized. Okay, we have successfully authorized. Now we just I have already created a collection called Learn with Nick and I have created an endpoint. Okay, so localhost port 4000 API Zoom meeting and I have a set of the payload. Okay, so you can see that here, nothing more than that. And we just place a breakpoint here. I think we have already. So we just only send post. Okay, we have a body. So step in. Send and we just place a breakpoint on. I think we 
we just go with continue okay let's see what is inside it i think we have not written here okay so that's why we have not seen what is going wrong okay so we must be this other point here also and we resend the request continue we have error and it is showing that the request is not unauthorized okay so that's fine we reauthorize okay working local host for four thousand slash slash api price we can start and we set it authorize okay now we just send request once again and we remove that breakpoint from here and we just continue and let's see what is here now so in the response to saying that bad request code invalid access token does not contain okay so it is showing that this token have do not have a right scope okay so it is requiring the right scope so how we can fix that we just for now continue with that and uh, we just navigate to the marketplace.zoom.us okay I'm not getting why it is going too slow sometimes. Okay. Manage Garnet demo. Okay, and click on scopes. A scope meeting. So meeting right. Done. Continue, and I think we just now local host we regenerate the token okay aprl slash zoom slash advice okay so now it have now we just resend the request okay so we have a response data so we have successfully created the meeting and it is for the december 25th and the meeting title is my meeting so for surety we just check this on our meeting dashboard tab upcoming you can see we have a meeting today so here's that and it is a 24th december just due to some time zone changes that's why this is showing 24th december okay and i think in 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 the in the next sessions where 
in postman we have at this period or okay we have successfully created this meeting in the next session uh where i just place a update update the meeting so in, inside that uh, session i will just uh, just uh, add a few more things like uh, we can modify the meeting settings okay like I have a not set it in, in this payload. Okay, you can see there's a simple payload, but we can also send the settings also. Okay, so meeting settings. So in the next session, I will show you how you can update the meetings and uh, and also change the meeting settings uh, related. Like you can see here. Okay, you can see host video faults. So these are all the setting options. So we can update those setting options in the next session, hopefully, okay? Hopefully you have got that. Any query, then just uh, place a comment on a video comment section or either you can contact me via my shared email ID and uh, WhatsApp, okay? Hopefully you have got that. Bye-bye. Thank you.